So the uh, plastering is going okay. I've got most of the joints already done. The, uh, I've got to do um, these horizontal ones here yet. Um, I've done all the vertical ones, or longitudinal ones. Um, they're all done. Also done all the screw holes and so many screws. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna to to just put some um, trim along those corners just to make those easy to do. I've got to do inside here yet. Um, there's corners here and stuff like that. But I'm actually running out of plaster. I've only got a little bit left. So uh, I should have bought a big container, not a small one. I wasn't quite sure how I went because I um oh, I already had some in the garage, but that's it got off. It got mouldy, so. Um, I had to throw it out unfortunately. So, uh, yeah, it's coming along. I mean, this is only what I've done today. Once I get some more plaster, I'll be able to finish those other bits off and then leave a couple of days, let it dry properly, let it shrink back, and then uh, put the next coat on. This one here, I'll put some trim on here as well. Um, but yeah, I've got a few things to do. But so, doing okay. This is a tricky bit up here. Also, got to put some trim across this gap. Um, and I've also got to figure out exactly what I'm going to do about this edge here. I, I did intend to have this um, sloping down to meet this roof line here. Um, I'm not actually sure yet how that's going to go. Um, I might just fill that with plaster and just sort of step it down in that. Maybe put even put a bit of trim in there. Um, yeah, so we'll see. That's going to be a little bit tricky, but um, yeah, it certainly is looking a lot better than it did anyway. It's coming along nicely. Here's all that bit down there done, as you can see. And, uh, obviously, I've, I've still got to tie out that waste connections there. Um, I can't bother doing it right now. I've already had enough of doing this, so um, yeah, I'm going to just cut that pipe off or something and just get rid of most of that, it doesn't need to be there but uh, that's a low priority, it doesn't really matter, it works for now so um, part of that goes back to when I had a um, what's called a super tub there, it's like a little sink unit used to be there which is why I used to have taps on the wall um, that was there when I moved in and uh, so I ripped all that there out, didn't need it, didn't use it and um, so some of that is left over from that problem so, uh, that's all got to go, and uh, yeah, it's not too bad. I've, got, I've done quite well today. I've got quite a bit done. The plastering, I actually made some fast progress. First time in a week, but uh, yeah, it's coming along. I'm glad when this job's done, I tell you. All right, so the plastering's going along. This is the second coat going on now. Got most of the joints done. I'm going to do um, some trim along these edges here, and uh, it's going okay usual stuff nothing particularly exciting really I've got a bit here I might have to do three or four coats on this bit here I can still see the tape in it so I think I'm gonna to have to do a bit extra there um, but everything else is coming out quite nicely doing this trim on here got some of this metal edging stuff um, which is here we go, some here. this stuff uh, goes in the plastic nail it on first so to hold it in place and then just plaster over the top so that's what's on those corners there. You might just be able to see the pattern in it. So uh, this helps stop it cracking. It makes it a bit more hard wearing. That's actually what's in the corner that covered there. That's got the same thing. Um, yeah, again, excuse the ugly fridge or freezer. That's used for dog food. <laughs> that's actually going to go out the garage at some point. Um, yes, yeah, so that's all going all right. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with this bit here yet. I might, I'm not. I've decided if I'm going to use tape or if I'm going to. Um, put some trim and across here instead. Um, same deal up here. Um, again, I'm, not, I'm undecided about what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to put trim across there, but um, I might tape that. I would tape this top one because um, I think trim there would look wrong. So I'm thinking I probably will have to tape that one. But uh, yeah, it's going alright. Um, this one here coming out quite nicely so far. Let's come to this. So uh, this is a smaller version of the other one, and I've just what I've done, I've, I've um, just stepped that in, filled it up with plaster, and it's nice straight edge there. So it's like a smaller version of, of that one over there, 
and it's come out quite nice, looks okay. Again, I've only just sort of plastered this, only got one coat on it so far. But uh, I've got the same deal with it, how to do this, but I've, I've, I've taped these ones. Um, I've got to put a trim across here, which you'll nail this down a bit loose. But uh, yeah, it's coming along, not too bad. But uh, time consuming, and my arms are killing me. I'm actually having trouble holding my phone up. Here we go, it's changing hands. <laughs> Held phone. It's too heavy for my arms now. That I'm doing a plastering on a ceiling. But uh, I don't know if you can actually see that or not. Get the light differently. Maybe you can see it. There you go. You can see the line in there. And a little bit just there. This one's worse. There we go. You can see that there. So it needs more yet. But uh, it's coming along. Yeah. Spent half a day out today shopping, buying all this stuff. This is the. Um, Little corner stuff which I've already used, and I've also got some trim for the ceiling. This is this the profile is Scotia, so I'll sit like that, get the camera straight, so I'll sit like that on the ceiling. And I've also got some skidding ball, you know, just a nice plain skidding ball, nothing too flash, just simple. So, uh Got to, uh, my wife wants to paint all that before we put it on because it's just easier that way. So she has to get onto that and uh, then I can get it all trimmed up and put in place when I finish doing the plastering. So in a couple more days I reckon I should be um, close to finishing my part, which should be good. Update, next day. The last thing's coming along quite nicely. I think tomorrow I'll be able to sand it. Maybe the day off, I might give it a bit more time to dry properly. But uh, it's still pretty good. It's not perfect there. Just about to see. There's still a little bit here. Um, no, that's a bit silky about the sanding anyway, but you just see the tape just there a little bit. So it's not perfect, but I think it's good enough to not worry about it anymore. Um, the walls are all fine, they were done. Um, the ceiling's always hardest to do, especially when you've got uh, non flush joints where the um, like the edges of the boards are like you can see on that one there. It uh, tapers down at the edge. Um, so you've actually got a bit of depth there allowed for the tape and the plaster to, to recess it, which is what um, some of these boards have got on the joints, like this one here. It's got it here, it's got know that recess join there um, but of course the end of the board you don't have that so you have to actually have the, the plaster slightly proud of the board um, which makes it a bit harder to get it to look good um, I always put heaps of plaster on um, in thin coats uh, I'm hardly a plasterer but um, I've found that works quite well for me um, I'll just do you know one over the top get it get the get the tape on there leave it a day, stick another coat on, another thin coat, slightly wider, um, good edges, edge coverage, smooth, you know, smoothing edges in, and then leave it another day and do another coat, even wider. And um, when you've got joints, multiple joints, I try and curve them, because it helps to hide the lines, things like that. So this is why there's a big salt, uh, uh, plaster coverage just here, because we've got these joints coming together. I need to remember there's actually a uh, cut out there in a the square or a rectangle just in this bit here so um, that's all completely covered in plaster so uh, that's all going good I did decide to uh, take those top corners so they're done now um, it's all blended in again it's all got to be scraped and sold and um, sold bloody hell <laughs> sanded uh, and I will be putting some trim across the top edge of this so it's all going well um, you can just see, you can just see a bit of tape just there. If the, if the light's not clearing it out, there you go. Just there, you can see it's a little bit there, but you know, it, I think it's good enough to be okay. And uh, all these other walls looking good. It's all looking fine. You know, so also these haven't, haven't been sanded yet. Um, I did these corners today, and I, the looks of them, I think one coat is actually going to be enough. I actually got the original coat with the tape, and then I've got one coat on the top of that. Um, and that seems to be fine. Um, I'd have to make sure I don't sand too much, otherwise I might go through to the tape. 
but um, yes, yeah, it's, it's it's going alright, you know. Um, so yeah, it's all uh, coming along quite nicely. So I, I might actually leave it a couple of days before I try and sand it back, because I like to make sure it's well dry and fully shrunk back, and because it does shrink as it dries. So uh, it might show up any other little imperfections which need addressing first. I'm, I'm not in particular rush. So what I need to do yet is um, get all these bits of wood here and um, paint them. So yeah, so when it comes when it actually get put up, um, I've only got to just touch up the ends where the joins are, where we've been cutting that sort of thing. You know? So I need to get onto that. So uh, I'm, I actually need to check if I've got any paint. I've got some ceiling paint, but we need to do. Um, I've got nice gloss on these because obviously the wood trim, you know, I need to do nice gloss, so that looks good. And all these need to be painting as well, the original door trims. I'll probably do those once they go back on because I'll go have to do plaster filling and full around the edges and stuff like that to smooth them out because they're, they're old and a bit, you know, imperfect fitting. So uh, it's a little thing to do, but I think I'll do those once they're back in. But uh, yeah, so. I actually had a really good video um, stream today with uh, Mike, not Mike, Mark. Um, it's at 19960, yeah, 19960. Um, I was watching his live stream for about three hours today, I think. And uh, I actually had to take off for a while because I had to go and have dinner before the wife killed me. <laughs> and uh, I went back to it just before he, uh, he actually finished it, and that, that's a good go and put there and that it's quite interesting seeing the stuff he does and uh, hopefully I've managed to uh, uh, prompt a, uh, a possible solution for a problem he was having as well so uh, anyway let's, we'll see how it goes so I think I probably want a video here to do another upload today I might do that and just leave the sanding one for another time so anyway, that's pretty much the plastering done really, just needs a little touch ups here and there. So yeah, this has been now, is it day? oh they not bloody day, it's probably been on Christmas holiday isn't it? Um, yeah, what day is it? Tuesday? I think it's Tuesday. So I've been doing this now for eight days. <laughs> so yeah, it's been fun. Anyway, the Indians inside. <laughs>